the word of the Lord, we hear the commandments or we read them in the Bible. And when we come here for the first time and God speaks to us through prophecy, God in that moment is working a miracle. Aside from speaking to us, he is working the miracle of purging us, delivering us, removing spiritual bonds, chains, vices, things that are wrong and sinful in our flesh. He cleanses us. So this is why the Spirit gives life, because the Holy Spirit is the one who is speaking to us. The Holy Spirit speaks to us through prophecy, speaks to us through a vision. So we receive prophecy and the Holy Spirit is there speaking to me, telling me I'm going to remove vices or you have such a vice, but I'm going to deliver you. And when he says that, he immediately begins to remove that vice. He begins to deliver me. So this is why we say that the spirit gives life. When it says the letter kills, that was in reference to the law of Moses. For the law of Moses was written on scrolls and books. And people had to read the law of Moses where it said, you cannot work on the Sabbath. You cannot eat pork. You cannot do this or that. So a person had to read it, but they would read and not change. The person wouldn't change their tendencies, their life, and the way that they thought or the way that they acted. Perhaps this person was selfish and greedy. And in the law of Moses, it would say, do not be selfish and, and do not have any greed. Do not be covetous. But they're not able to change. They weren't able to change. And as they couldn't change and they read that what they were doing was wrong and a sin before God, it would produce a spiritual death in that person. And every day, rather than being delivered and changing to please God, they would read, do not do this, and they weren't able to do it, so they felt that they were far from God. They considered themselves a person dead for God because they weren't able to change or please him. So that is what that is saying, that the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. And in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the gospel, as it is the Spirit of God who is speaking to us, He speaks to me and tells me all of my flaws, but at the same time, He cleanses me of those flaws. And when I least expect it, I'm no longer acting and proceeding to do those displeasing things because I see that God has spoken to me. And look, he's also transformed and changed me, delivered me. This is what this means, that the spirit gives life. He cleanses. And this is why we are able to have a change of life. And if we were selfish, petty, or greedy, when the Holy Spirit spoke to me and removed that from me, I'm no longer greedy. I no longer have that pettiness because he has changed me. He speaks to me. He changes me when he makes promises and speaks to you. He changes you. So this is the change of life he gives us. And this is the great difference that we have between the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the work of the Holy Spirit, and the law of Moses, which cannot change anyone. It cannot change them. People read the rules and regulations, but they can't change. They try to obey, but truly in their heart, the same weakness remains in their being. And the Holy Spirit he is able to work that change. He delivers us. This is the great difference and the change.